I'm Jay Townsend. In Lesson 6, we'll discuss how to develop and tell your signature story. Tell it in a way that makes you interesting and entertaining. And more important, tell it in a way that lets people know you care about them and are committed to their welfare. Told correctly, your story will leave people standing in line signing up to join your cause and be part of your campaign. There is a basic and fundamental truth about politics. Voters don't care about you. They care about what you are going to do for them. So why tell your story at all? If you don't tell your story, voters will not know what grounds you, what you have done or accomplished, or what qualifies you to make decisions and govern on their behalf. There is another very good reason to tell your story. I mentioned that politics is civilized warfare. If you don't tell your story on your terms, your opponent will tell your story on their terms. And they won't talk about the good things you did. They'll talk about the stupid things you've done or said. The mistake that many candidates make when telling their story is they slap a detailed bio on their literature or recite some endless laundry list of things they've done when speaking to an audience. That will quickly put any audience to sleep. There is a much better way. Smart candidates display their biography and story through a seminal event that happened in their life, one that helps explain their point of view and what makes them tick. And it is through their story that they make themselves likable, reveal causes important to them, movements they have led, people they have helped or hardships they endured, their fundamental beliefs and convictions. Voters like stories. Your job is to make yours interesting by talking about a seminal event that forever changed who you are and what you became. Everybody has a story like that. Some examples. A client of mine who was a contractor had once declared bankruptcy. The circumstances were this. He was building an expensive home. The owner fell behind on the payments. Rather than lay off workers and walk away from a job half done, he continued doing the work until the house was in a weather-ready condition. He was eventually forced to declare bankruptcy until his successful lawsuit against the owner wound its way through the court system. When voters heard the story, they quickly concluded that he was a man of integrity, character, one who would do the right thing when confronted with a difficult decision. I once helped a single mother in a campaign for family court judge. She'd been raised on a farm. We told the story of how, as a young teen, she worked side by side with her brothers, digging ditches in the family orchard, worked her way through law school, raised a daughter who became a star athlete and a son who was valedictorian of his high school. Voters concluded that she was grounded with a work ethic, would treat men and women as equals in the courtroom, and that she placed a special priority on the welfare of children. How do you develop your signature story? Make a list of the ten people who have had the greatest impact on you. Perhaps it was a teacher, your parents, a coach or college professor, a minister, a mentor, a friend, a spouse. Now recall some of the special moments with each and an event and encounter that you still remember. Next, put your life in chronological order from the time you were born to present day, where you lived, what you did, what you remember from your earliest days, where you went to school, your teachers, classmates, the clubs you belonged to, each year of college, your best friends, the jobs you've held, people you met and worked with, things that happened to you, the good, the bad, and even the ugly, the times you were happy, afraid, sad the friend who died young, your marriage, your children. When you go through this exercise, special moments and memories will fill your mind. They become stories. Next, look at times in your life when there were significant changes in your point of view or when you changed your mind about what you wanted to do with your life or when you saw or heard something that profoundly affected you or the day you discovered why you were born and what you were put on earth to do. These exercises will free your mind to remember things in the recesses of your brain that have long been buried. And chances are, when you're done, you'll have not one, but several stories about epic moments in your life that profoundly affected you. This has been my experience through my years of consulting. Very few candidates do it well. Most don't know their signature story when we first meet. It is only through this exercise and asking questions 
that were able to find and develop their story into something interesting and compelling. You'll know you have developed your signature story when it does one of the following. Does it make you human and likable? Does it reveal something about your determination or a deeply held moral principle? Does it demonstrate how an event forever changed you for the better? Does it reveal how you overcame a hardship or developed empathy for others who have confronted a difficult challenge? When you tell your story, does it make people think or change the way they feel or the choices they make? Your assignment, send me your signature story in narrative form based upon what you have learned in this lesson. Try to keep it to less than 750 words. In the worksheet, you'll see some of the criteria your story must meet in order for your story to serve its purpose. My email address is j at jtownsend.com. Please feel free to ask any questions you may have.